Thank you so much. Thank you to Cecilia Vicuña and her extraordinary vision for this place, for this High Line. Thank you to the High Line. Thank you to everybody who's put this together. And Anushka, that was incredible. Very inspiring, and I hope we all can follow some of that guidance. Thank you so much. And great to be here on a day with other poets who are uh, part of this anthology. So I'm going to sort of invoke some Buddhist-inspired mantra and a little bit of a poem in here. Advice on what to do with dead insects, suffering insects. The insects can be gathered together and put into a container. Then you recite Om Mani Padme Hum and blow on them. This mantra alone has incredible benefit by reciting this mantra and blowing on the dead bodies of the insects, their obscurations are purified, even though the consciousness has left the body. If you have more time, you can also recite the great five mantras for liberating sentient beings from the lower realms. There's the stainless pinnacle mantra, Om Namastaya Devankam Sarvatadgaka Hridaya Garbe Jvala Jvala Dharma Datu Garbe Sammahara Maha Ayu Sammashodaya Mama Sarva Papam Sarva 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 Om Ahum Bees Ahum Om Ahum Ants Ahum Om Ahum Termites ah hum, hum ah hum. Dragonflies hum ah hum. This mantra, if it goes on the body, purifies 10,000 eons of negative karma. And you humans out there, do no harm. Do no harm. Do no harm. Om ma hum mantra mantra blow on the insects blow on the insects purify the insects karma pouring blessed water over them bless the water yourself by reciting mantras then blow on the water blow on the water in general you can also keep a container of water and in your practice when you recite om manne padme hum om manne padme hum blow on the water to bless it mantra 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 om namo bhagavata sarmas dugate nama nama ho ho shallow Near shore region, black flies, no seams, seaweeds live. Swept forth or in limpid swoon, a signal cannot reflect or elaborate upon, upon yet splendor here, to buzz, to fly, and come to be there with the mollusks and naming them. Come, name all the insects to be there in them, swept down, come up to your evolution then in them, love for their not ambulatoriness. They fly and they crawl and they float on the water. Sea snails and periwinkles too and shore birds and chitons and limpets and the primeval dragonflies, dragonflies move as you do, inkling of vibration, become metabolism with them, a wish driven so deep it relishes the contrast to be in tandem with them. Do no harm, do no harm, for humans suck, not just motion humming. Oh, take the life of them, no recursive thought are minds possible without the sound of the insect, without other luster not only for an archival eye, eye of ant, residual depth to that of the wild. One day you arrive in chromosomal time or a water plant hypothesis called nuclear. Oh, you are once again a scare tactic for the insect, a smoked out tactic that will never break in them as other. What language, what sound reflects the mind structures intra, intra, between, in the long, continuous rhizome with the insect and with all animalia.